Hi everyone, I'm Emma and welcome or welcome back to the Worsted Willow channel. Uh, you can also find me at Instagram or Ravelry at Worsted Willow. So for this video I've recently had a few friends show a lot of interest in getting into knitting and crochet and I remember as a beginner that it could just be super overwhelming with the number of resources out there for beginners so I wanted to kind of put together my favorite resources that I personally use to learn and just have it as sort of a guide of where you can get started if you also want to learn. So there will not be any like specific tutorials, this is not like a how to crochet or how to knit video, rather I will be directing you to the videos that I used and preferred when I was learning myself. So, but there will be, everything will be linked below, so if you find a creator or resource that you personally like, you can go and check it out down below. So, yeah, like I said, these are all resources I've personally used or have heard amazing recommendations about. For the most part, there are ones that I use myself. Um, so we'll just get right into it. I'll start with some overall tips of just getting into it and things that could help with both knitting and crochet and then just kind of go by each fiber art. So, First overall tip is use your local stores. They have so many great resources, including great yarn, um, but the people there will also always be willing to answer any questions and a lot of them even do beginner courses. So if you're struggling to learn on your own, I highly, highly recommend going to a local store, trying to talk to someone in person because sometimes it's hard to understand what you're looking at when you don't really know what's going on. So getting that more experienced person to kind of help you in person is going to be so much easier for you in the long run. And then a lot of the resources I have on the list are books and a lot of the ones I got are from used bookstores so definitely check out any sort of local used bookstore for resources. Um, I personally shop at Half Price Books a lot and have found a lot of great knitting and crochet related pattern books and like stitch dictionaries at those places. And then the last two are kind of more general mindsets. Um, I think one of the biggest things that helped me when I was learning was just to be confident in myself and my own ability and I mean I did a lot of art in high school and art, following an art tutorial is so different than following a knitting and crochet tutorial. Art, you like can watch exactly what they're doing and have it turn out completely differently for you. But knitting and crochet is hand motions, so it just takes practice to get to be comfortable with it. And it's a technique, so you can, you can learn this technique in the same exact way or figure out the way that works best for you to get the same end result. Um, and then also choose projects that interest you, choose techniques that interest you. Um, Ravelry is such a great resource for searching for patterns, but there's also um, Lovecrafts and a few other places. And just find patterns that maybe say beginner friendly or like entry level, beginner intermediate patterns, ones that maybe aren't using too many complicated techniques, and just get started there, find ones that you're really passionate about and you're excited to work on. Because um, that's going to get you through a lot of the frustration of initially learning the techniques. Um, it's going to be figuring out what you actually like working on and what you're going to enjoy having that end product of. So yeah, those are just kind of my general overall tips. So let's get started with my favorite crochet resources. So crochet was the first one that I learned. So I learned to crochet first and then I learned how to knit. And I, my all-time favorite creator for crochet and favorite resources is going to be TL Yarn Crafts. Her energy is immaculate. She is 
so great to listen to and she has amazing tutorials. Um, she does both crochet and Tunisian crochet which if you are interested in either or both of those highly recommend her and she has beginner tutorials through like different stitches, different techniques, and then all the way through full pattern tutorials. So she has a lot of great resources out there and you should definitely check out her channel if you are looking into learning how to crochet. Another great content creator who I haven't used as much but I know has a lot of great content and she's probably a little more on the technique orient oriented videos is Bella Coco Crochet and she also has an amazing Instagram. I really love her aesthetic on Instagram so she is another great creator to look for on both Instagram and YouTube for, for beginner tutorials. Aside from video learning, I found video to be the most helpful when I was learning, but it's also great to have resources outside of that to reference. Um, obviously, Google searching things can bring up a lot of results, so I also really love to have books that I can reference at home, especially for looking up specific stitches or um, techniques, things like that. So a few of my favorite crochet books uh, most of them are just stitch dictionaries, but the first one is the Crochet Stitch Dictionary by Sarah Hazel, and it just has um, a lot of different stitch patterns, and so you get like a finished photo of what the stitch pattern looks like, how it's worked, and then step-by-step -step instructions and a chart for every stitch pattern, and they're grouped by different stitch types, so this one's a very helpful like visual guide if you want to look up specific stitches. A similar one is the Complete Crochet Course by Shannon and Jason Mullet Bolsey. So this one has some stitches in it but it also has a lot of just general yarn and crochet terminology and just background so it starts just by looking at like how to hold the yarn how what are the different parts of a stitch um, inserting through the back loop versus the front loop or different types of yarn over and how will that change the stitch so it goes a lot more in depth and it also has some really clear and beautiful photos in it to help you get sort of a better understanding of what's going on in crochet. So I found this was the first one I got and I found it very, very helpful. And then the last one, going back to TL Yarn Crafts, if you want to learn Tunisian crochet, Tony Lipsy just released her Tunisian crochet handbook. And just, I mean, first of all, look how gorgeous it is. And then it has a bunch of projects and like how to get started with Tunisian crochet. This one is beginner friendly, but I think if you're learning how to crochet in general, probably not the best book to start out with. If you have a good foundation of crochet and are just wanting to learn Tunisian crochet, then I highly recommend this book. So those are the books and channels for crochet. Last is the tools. So my all-time favorite hooks, I really like using ergonomic hooks because um, it just helps with like cramping and pain with your fingers and wrists, especially when you're getting used to it for the first time. So my favorite hooks are the prim hooks. And all of them have this really great rubber handle and it's all kind of curved in to be more ergonomic. So these are my favorite. They are a little bit pricier, so I'd recommend only getting one to start out with to see how you like them, but they are sold at Michael's in the U.S. The other popular one is the Clover Amore. I don't specifically have Clover Amore, but I have kind of like the cheap knockoff version, but they are similar and they have an ergonomic grip, but then they have a metal head, and they have like a combination metal head so they're a little pointy and have a tapered hook. So these are really great 
and a lot of people swear by these and I do love them. They also work a lot better with acrylic yarn because plastic sometimes gets squeaky and gross with working with plastic yarn. So and I got these for like $10 off of Amazon and you can get like the nice Clover More versions at Joann's or Michael's. And then last is just these boy hooks. So these are kind of the classic crochet hook. But they're just metal. They don't have ergonomics. I don't use these very often. Um, but they're definitely the cheapest option if you want to just get started with crochet. Moving on to knitting. I have a few video or a few channels that I really love and all of them have really great tutorials and just general resources. Uh, the first is the channel that got me into knitting and that's Knitty Natty. She just has so much enthusiasm for the craft and loves, she has a weekly podcast and I started watching it while I was just crocheting and fell in love with her as a person and then she hosted a sock make along and it really empowered me to learn how to knit so I could participate in that. So highly recommend Knitty Natty. She has a bunch of pure beginner tutorials up through like socks and other projects and just different techniques. So she has a lot of tutorials and she used to be a teacher so I really love how she explains everything. She goes through it slowly and repeats things um, that might be challenging for beginner knitters. Another one is Crazy Sock Lady. She also has a lot of tutorials. Um, I'm not sure too many about her like general knitting tutorials, but she has an insane number of sock tutorials specifically. So using different types of needles like Magic Loop, DPN, Circular, um, Flexi Flips, all the different sort of needles. And I found that useful even outside of using just making socks because every needle type is a little bit different to work with. And then last is Andrea Mowry. She has a ton of great technique videos. Most of them correspond to our patterns, but she, for this list, she has the most patterns by far. And she gives really great tutorials and makes knitting very approachable, even with patterns that look very complicated or just much more styled. So, and I've recently started working on a few of her patterns and she has a very clear way of writing them. And it's very, she likes to go a little bit more in depth with explaining what to do, which is very helpful as a beginner. So for books, I have a few options. The first is knit step by step. Uh, techniques, stitches, and patterns. So first of all, I just really love how this cover looks. I found this at Barnes & Noble. But the pictures in this book were also really great. So here is like the page with all the different types of yarn. And how to make like different stitch techniques. So this one isn't really a stitch dictionary, but it's more of like a technique and learning new tricks. So highly recommend this one for kind of a general overall knitting overview. They also have a sewing book, which I also have, but I haven't gotten as much into sewing. For my stitch dictionary, I have the Ultimate All Around Stitch Dictionary, which has over 300 stitch patterns, very similar to the crochet one. It shows what it looks like finished. Um, and then it has instructions for both flat and in the round, which is very helpful. And it has the chart. So highly recommend this book if you just want a good all around knitting stitch reference. And the last one is 350 plus knitting tips, techniques, and trade secrets. You can see that I got this one at uh, Half Price Books. And again, it's just got a ton of like construction, yarn, just general information that'll help you with like, it's got color theory in here, but learning how to choose projects, make projects, all of that good stuff. So 
those are the two or the three books and then for the needles I first got the Chaikumi combo from Clover which is a set from Michael's and Joanne's. I'm missing one needle but they're just a nice wooden set and the cables twist which is really nice and comfortable to use. It is a little on the pricey side for a beginner I'd say. I think it was about 120 but because it's from Michael's and Joanne's um, I often get like 40 to 60 percent off coupons for a single item and you can use that to use these so it makes it super reasonable for a first interchangeable set. You can also get um, fixed circulars or straight needles from there as well. And then for maybe a slightly nicer beginner option, I am absolutely in love with the Chowgu Red Lace. Um, especially if you're going to do anything in Magic Loop, these... I mean, you can just see how flexible this cable is, and it does not really hold its shape. So it's very, very comfortable for using for Magic Loop, and I recently got their, like, red lace interchangeable set. So highly recommend those as well. But yeah, those are all of my resources that I recommend when getting started. Generally, I think any Stitch Dictionary is going to be great. I know I gave the ones that I have, but just any sort of resource, I would just look for clear pictures, great instructions, maybe multiple different ways it's explained, um, and just whatever, whatever you like. But those are what I found helpful in teaching myself how to knit and crochet. So thank you for joining me. Um, if you like the video, leave a like down below and definitely share all the resources that you guys have in the comments to give even more options for people to check out. And I'll see you guys in my next podcast episode next week. Bye!